two data types. Uh, first one was numeric, and second one was character. Let's uh, let second us one was character or a string. Oh, okay, string or text. Okay. So. Suppose we take a, a macro and we can declare variable with dim function, dim mm. uh, and you can name the function uh, such as number or word, uh, something, num as integer. Integer is for numerical calculations. Mm. Then you have string a string for containing text okay then you have currency for keeping currency mm. then you have dim as date for using date then you have double for keeping decimal values okay so these type of variables we can use in our excel in our bb actually in excel yeah. we, we have different type of this number formatting so such as number formatting uh, we have uh, because we are storing values in cells there we are entering date and working with dates so uh, such as we need here in a VBA for uh, temporary storing of values we use variables so if you want to uh, know the specification uh, technical specification about these data types so there are a lot of data types available first one is uh, our byte byte we don't use actually boolean which contains true false we can also use dim yeah, as boolean which can contain true false only then you have integer the storage size is 2 byte and in which you can keep 30 minus 32768 to 32767 so it has a limitation of numbers for which it can calculate we can't exceed our value uh, in integer to 32 more than 32767 okay okay so if we have large amount of calculation it also does not contain decimal places decimal places value it doesn't entertain so we have a long that means long integer it has it is for four bytes and it can handle uh, up to a million and billion characters for calculation so uh, for uh, uh, large calculation use long integer you can keep for just uh, uh, running the loop and temporary storage where, where you don't have more than this amount of value okay hmm. so you can use long also and uh, there is a uh, single single precision floating point in which you can give the value of 1.4 exponential value you can use your decimal position yeah and double double have lot of negative value it can deal so mostly we use double for decimal mm -hmm. okay then we have decimal itself it is for 14 bytes so every variable has a different storage size and these storage size affects our programming so uh, 
if you are trying to build a robust application which should not hang and run properly so we have to keep our mind on this storage size also but you need not to worry just uh, 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 use the common uh, data types which we are using like integer long we don't uh, in place of integer you can use long date mostly what we use is string it is for text integer for numbers for running loop we usually use it then we sometimes we use date or we can use our boolean for storing true false and double so these are important rest of others are can be used when it is required so we have date variable then we have object this object we also use most of the time uh, suppose we want to use our word application so we can't directly use the word application we need uh, an variable for that storing word application pathway or the properties of word application so the object keywords create a copy local copy of that application so uh, we will be using object many time in automation when connecting while uh, other application then we have string so we can contain our large strings in there okay variant the other important uh, variable is variant it can contain any type of value either it is numeric in date or in uh, decimals or in text it can contain any type of value as uh, just like a single cell with general format it can entertain any type of value okay so these are some data types uh, so uh, for which you can just read this as a uh, information just keep in mind just read it one it once so that uh, you are familiar with these data types then let's learn the usage let's see the you uh, let's see how to declare uh, declare the variable what is it is a good website sir which you are using uh, no no uh, it is a general i have casually just, casually yeah. you can search anywhere but uh, just search data type in vba don't go for visual basic because visual basic it will open uh, some dot net application dot net type because okay. there are a lot of data types in dot net so this is for uh, dot sorry, net uh, you remember that you told one uh, one website i actually forget that and i try to search it uh, for this uh, what called uh, that uh, is tech uh, on RS, the net rs tech on the net t c h o n t h e n e t okay okay sir i wrote it on yeah tech on the net it, yeah. excel and then go for excel function then here is array in the last you can find the yeah, yeah. where it is array 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 yeah no there is no array here earlier there was array okay 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 it is in starting actually here it is the array no they have removed actually i think no you showed actually that is ah uh... uh, yeah it, it is there other day it is Aha, there okay array formula yeah. yes so you can find here lot of array formulas are here yeah you told to told me to practice see this and practice that but i didn't done that <laughs> okay no problem so yeah. uh, let's know how to move our cursor throughout the excel yeah okay but before we declare a variable with dim keyword we name it as it is compulsory to put as here then the data type whether it is 
इंटीजर स्ट्रिंग करेंसी डेट डबल और बुलिन और वेरिएंट इन बीबीए इट इज आर इट इज अ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी देयर दैट वी कैन यूज वेरिएबल विदाउट डिक्लेरिंग इट वि डायरेक्टली गिव द वैल्यू and use them we need not to declare that okay you can run this it will show me the correct answer so without declaring i also can use but it is not a good practice because it it will be general in general format as a variant if with its first data it will analyze that how it should be work so okay so there is no data type it is like variant so it is a good practice when when you define define a variable when you declare a variable but if you want that the user should uh declare variable you can use one keyword option explicit then you can't use uh how it is used option explicit i put here yes okay. what it mean actually it actually uh, meant for we can't use without declaring uh, if we uh here we are using without declaring the variable we uh, do not used this uh, dim keyword here but still we are uh, using a variable name d hmm. so if you don't want that user should not do like this that it uh, the declaration should be there so you can use option explicit for that keyword for that okay but uh, don't matter it is uh, not uh, it is not important actually you can use uh, whatever you want so let's uh, let us know how to move within the ranges within excel how to navigate excel so first navigation we use a keyword range okay in range we can give directly the address of the cell uh -huh. then we put directly what we want to put okay so it is the smallest uh, uh, it is the first keyword in excel range within bracket it's like a formula then i typed equal to sandeep that means that this value will be assigned in this address in this range so here if i run the procedure so it will show me yeah okay it it is working now i go on sheet 2 and then i press okay then i run this procedure then we can see there is also a name and sheet 1 sheet 2 i have used same procedure if i want that my procedure should work only in sheet 1 mm. then we have to give a sheets like this in sheets either we have to give the index number index number of the sheet the numbering of sheet it is in first number second number third number or fourth number or in inverted commas we have to give the sheet name so here i just delete this data in now second two is uh, sheet two is empty sheet one is also empty 
so i run the procedure from anywhere it will change only in sheet 1 okay i have limited this range keyword to this sheet only then uh, there are some uh, points in our range keyword with this at range what you want to do just put and dot here you will find a list activate okay. I just to activate I put an comment here I can put a single quotation mark for comment it it will convert it to green that means this code will not be executed now activate okay. what does it mean activate I just clicked anywhere in the sheet when I run this macro it will select this one that means activate okay now I just type here sheet 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 2 the keyword is here is sheets so in sheet 2 I want to activate A1 hmm. this, where is the problem sheet 2 activate like this or what it should not produce any error activate method of range class failed so if I am activating this object so first thing I have to do that I need to first activate the sheet also because which sheet is activated here sheet 1 okay so I want to activate the sheet 2 so I can use this activate keywords in my sheet itself okay now sheet 2 is activated and here I can give a range a1 dot activate okay now, now I am in sheet 1 I just run this macro now I can see sheet 2 is activated and this a1 is activated okay now how to work with range in range we will give this address then we put dot and we can assign values by two way either we can give text or value we mostly use value value and we can assign any name here this is a specialized assignment here we are assigning uh, the value like anything it is accepting as text this is the proper me method for assigning value with dot value okay when we run the uh, uh, command it works now if I want to add somewhere formula suppose here I have some numbers here now I want to put a sum formula here 
in a11 i want that a formula uh, like some and this much of range okay a1 to a10 there should be the range i just delete this and let's see in a10 i want to add formula so i have to type formula r1 c1 okay so this is a command here dot form for formula you can directly give formula equal to here uh, the formula will be start, uh, kept in inverted commas equal to sum a1 to a10 in a11 range i have to put this formula so this is a proper method for keeping formula i just run the command and there is a formula if i don't use formula here then one what happens see if i run without any value there is formula working okay it is like general formatting when i type value it is taking as formula but it should not be sometimes it create problem when you enter uh with value so the correct method is you use always formula with it because excel is so much intelligent uh, sometimes it manage with itself but the correct method you use this formula keyword with that then let's suppose in a range b1 to b10 you want to write something dot value want to write something here yeah. i am typing hello so it immediately done hello in this tab okay sir then i want to uh color this one these cells so there is a method actually uh, suppose we don't know the data where it ends so how do we do we will just uh, go to any uh, i just go to any reference it is a65000 last then i press end from our keyboard so there is you can say ac here there is end mode activated and then i press uh, only single arrow up arrow so it is now on the base position of the data then i uh, i put end again now end mode is activated i press shift here then what i do i just press up arrow then it is selected then i again press end button then i press again shift then i press right key right arrow so now the data is selected now what i have to do i just have to fill the color here so through coding how we will do that range first we will choose a6 65000 because we can get the last position 
in our Excel, we choose 65,000 because it can run in different different versions of Excel. Then we will put dot. Then we will uh, we have pressed end button. So I just type end. Within bracket, here is a direction where you want to go. Such as I have pressed uh, arrow key for going up. So I will choose Excel up. Okay. Then I choose dot. I am saying that select or activate. We will mostly use select for selection there. So we can see when we uh, our cursor suppose here. When we run this macro, it goes down and takes the last position of that data. Then I need to select that one also for selection because uh, we have pressed shift there. So how we will do this thing here. In range you can uh, give the references of many cells in single. So first I take selection. The selection keyword refer to the select object in your Excel sheet. So first we have made selection here which was this one. Now what we are going to do we have just again access selection and put dot here then end and here we have done Excel up. Okay. selection dot select okay now my selection will be this one let's run the code now this is selected then I have done selection with this one also so used shift and right key. We will do the same thing here again with the selection. In selection here I will do Excel right. Okay. I just run the keyword. Where is the problem? Selection dot and selection dot and application defined or object defined error and the error is occurring here now we get made a selection here from this selection selection and Excel write it is write format dot font the range object I am not selecting that uh, again uh, we need to give the color now interior dot color equal to you can give yellow uh, there is a color like XL yellow all color can be accessed like this you can see when I am moving the cursor if there is a right value suppose I just 
make it small when i moving my cursor when it got got converted in capital that means it is the right code but here it is not converting so that means there is a problem okay so there could be i type red let's see whether it work or not there is a problem just remove for that we we'll let's work with our this selection selection dot interior dot color what's up excel red okay it's doing color here but it is something not working here i type red here again not working then it can be worked at color index we need to identify the color index coloring property of macro colors in vba we usually take the reference from other side so these are the colors and these are the color codes we can use red directly Oh, but it is for something else. Cell background. Range. Dot interior. Dot color. Here we can use RGB or we can use the color index. Okay. So color index if I take seven, so what would happen? This one. You can get the RGB code as well for any color. If I want to put red here, put yellow here. This one of yellow. So it has two thirty eight, two fifty one, sixty seven. So you can give in two thirty eight, two thirty two thirty two thirty two. R G B two thirty eight. Sixty-seven. Normal color. Okay. Now I just run the code. So it is in yellow color. Now I just. do it again with my excel right because range dot selection selection dot and excel right not select there is a an error in this code i can't understand why it is happening so another method for selection we can use a 
offset because uh, uh, in our starting classes i have told you about r1 c1 format in r1 c1 format if i type a formula so it gives a range here that means row 6 column 6 so just like where the pointer uh, excel has fit we can uh, use our offset function with that okay with this end keyword suppose i want to uh, i want to write in this cell d d3 or here anywhere d1 or uh, no let's take from here because it it will be easy to understand so from this position when our uh, cursor moves here then we move one two three three times in column so how we will do that from selection dot offset uh, first I just blank this range I don't need this one so in top it it has selected some range or just remove that X I have type range a 60,000 excel up then offset and in row offset I will put 0 because I want to work in same row in column offset I will give 3 then value want to type something Now run the code, you will find you can type something problem is there, it should not. JB you have to restart your excel. No. Why it is creating like this I don't know. Okay. Has put the name here. If I want to write uh, here, so for that I have to uh, minus the row 1, 2, 3, minus 3. If I type here minus 3 in row section, I will type here. Okay. If I want to go in column this column so it is minus 4 row minus 2 column minus 4 row minus 2 column ah, minus 2 ok mm. now what is the problem yeah. ok 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 yeah. Be because you have a gap there yes a, a, it is accessing a part and we are working on c part so i change it here okay now okay so that's how we can navigate in our excel uh, through our range function with end mode with offset and uh, with sheets now if we want to work in now what other options we have we have active cell here active cell means where it is active I just uh, delete this code 
where it is selected and active I can use now I have made a selection which one is the active cell which one is highlighted here because I have selected so many cells but I can type in only in one okay so the cell in which I can write it is the X active cell okay then we have active sheet it is for active sheet okay so in active sheet I am accessing range 1 it is here in this sheet here by default if we don't use this active sheet it works on active sheet itself okay now third option we have suppose we have two workbooks not the sheets only so we have our active work book dot sheet this is the complete path to your range okay now we have we use two file here okay so just run the macro so it is in our new file I if I select this one and run the macro then it will work in this okay so we have a workbook object also so now let's suppose we want to create some format here suppose I want to make name then roll number uh, roll number then marks I want to create a format like this one then after I want to just border till here then in end I want to type here total then there are here I want to put a formula sum like this one okay so this uh, let us know how we program this thing first of all you can do this by uh, recording macro also so that you can get the codes easily suppose uh, we just start here in developer record macro and macro name macro one this workbook okay now I type name rule number then marks then I select till 10 I like that here also select this one so then grand total and here I type formula this one so this is a complete procedure for creating that 
then I stop macro. Now I want to see this macro. So and this one was the macro macro. I go to just with edit and here I can find these are the codes which I have used. Okay. So if I want to create here, I just run that macro from here. It will create the same thing here also. Now, it is started with active cell. We can start with range A1. Okay. Then what is RC1 is means what? Row 1 column 1. Ah, okay. Actually it is working in relative reference. R1C1 is ah. used for that uh, if this one is pressed. Use relative reference while recording macro. Mm. If it, this one is clicked so it will be recorded in relative reference. If, if it is not it will be recorded in uh, the, uh, uh, this one, row one column. This is called relative reference actually, R1, C1. That one, two, three system yeah, yeah. in columns. So we have uh, a lot of code here for uh, in which we can understand that uh, from here It is putting the name, roll number and mark and from here to this one. It is creating borders only. Okay. Then it gone to B11. Then type grand total. Then C11 type this formula. Okay. So this is a very simple way for knowing the macro which I am telling you. So just uh, in your first thing you just do it by your hand and uh, take the code from here modify with yourself and try that for building these applications. Such as I don't know the code of creating borders. So I need to understand in borders what what is actually happening here. But in first time, it has done line style Excel learn. Means whichever is the previous border, it has deleted in these two lines. Okay. Then selection with border, Excel edge left means left border line is style excel continuous then color index weight yeah then excel as top top border then bottom border then right border then inside vertical inside horizontal there's cross lines so it said it was like this then again it has selected b11 c11 in which i have selected like this so in B11, C11, again it has done border coding, same thing. Okay, then it, it is typing grand total and sum. So, such as we just copy this border code. If you do single single thing, you can identify which uh, code is doing what. So just I am copying this in my first module I want to create a macro here so how I'll, I type uh, range the shorted procedure for creating this macro a1 equal to name 
then range d1 equal to roll number then range c1 equal to marks okay then what do i suppose to do range a1 to c10 range a1 to c10 where is the insert button so c10 i am just selecting then what i am pasting that border formatting with selection then in down i am doing in range b b11 b11 and c11 b11 to c11 dot select again there was borders then in range b11 uh, i have typed grand total okay then in c11 i have typed up formula why this insert function rest yes in c11 i type that formula which was equal to sum c2 to c10 okay now yes it was like this now let's see how it is working or not i just delete this thing i just run the code from here and you can see the same thing here with formula okay so that's how we create uh, our things in uh, vba so hope you understand yeah yeah okay so we'll we will do uh, slowly slowly we will do the things that how to calculate this automatically the formula part mm -hmm. the rows and columns this thing so tomorrow we will do okay something new yeah okay okay sir thank you thank you